It's time for the last of the Hunger Game movies. Hunger Games The Mockingjay Part 2, directed by Francis Lawrence, no relation to our lead actress Jennifer Lawrence, who plays Katniss in these movies. This started with The Hunger Games, and then we went on to the best of the franchise, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, number two. And finally, we've got Mockingjay Part 1, which brings us to Mockingjay Part 2. Now, I really think after seeing this movie and remembering how the previous Mockingjay went through that this could have been done in one movie. All you have to do is just cut the excess from both films and you could have just had a good movie, maybe a little bit long of a good movie, but still a good movie. It didn't really have to be two films. But we got two films anyway, so let's make the best of it. This film picks up where the last film left off. Katniss joined the Rebels. The Rebels have rescued PETA, Josh Hudson's character, from the Capitol. And PETA's going all nuts. He wants to kill Katniss. He's been brainwashed or something. But Katniss still cares about him. And at the same time, she still cares about Gale, Liam Hemsworth's character. So that love triangle is still going on. But thankfully, at the end of this movie, it gets resolved. And she finally makes her choice of who she wishes to be with. She is on a quest to kill President Snow. She is hell-bent on killing this guy. She feels that nothing good is going to be safe while this guy is still in control of Pan Am and she wishes to change that. Julianne Moore's character, President Alma, who leads the rebellion, she wishes to be the new president of Pan Am, but there's this big question, is she going to be any better than President Snow, or is she going to be as much of a tyrant as President Snow is right now? To find that out, you have to see the movie. Katniss takes a group of the rebels into the Capitol to go after President Snow, and the Capitol's full of booby traps. So it's turned into this Hunger Games arena, kind of like, as they're trying to get there to kill President Snow. And this is a very good movie. I really did like this movie. Even though I think it would have been better if part one and part two were just one film. It's, it's okay that they made two movies for more money. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence is excellent as Katniss. She does a really great job. Joss Hudson is very good as PETA. I really did like him in the movie. Liam Hemsworth, he's okay. Don't really like him that much as an actor. I don't really see him that talented versus his brother Chris who plays Thor in the Avenger films. But he does the best he can with what talent he has. <laughs> Julianne Moore, great in the movie. I already did like her. And Donald Sutherland makes an excellent villain. He was great in the movie as President Snow. Philip Seymour Hoffman, this is his last movie he does. This was the film he did before he dies. And it is really sad that he's dead. But it, this is a great way to say goodbye to him by seeing this movie. Then you have Woody Harrelson as Haymitz. He's great in the film as well. Willow Shields who plays Prim, Katniss' sister. She's great. Everybody does a really excellent job like Sam Claflin as Finnick and it'd be too long to mention every actor really does a great job but they all do an excellent job and this is just a really good movie it also gets really intense when you see people die and i was really shocked to see which characters die versus which characters live and it was very intense especially when they get into the sewers that part was really cool too and don't want to spoil who dies <laughs> but it's really good. A lot of the deaths that were done, they were handled pretty well, except for one death. I thought one death in particular could have been handled a little bit better, could because it's a main character. But aside from that, this is a really, really good movie. Yes, the pacing is a little very slow because it's a part two of making 
a book into two parts which is so unnecessary but I, you gotta deal with it and some of the characters that got a lot of screen time in previous movies don't get a lot of screen time in this movie Stanley Tucci only gets like one scene and Elizabeth Banks she doesn't get that much screen time either but this is still a really good movie I really did like this so I'm gonna give this movie a B Definitely go see this movie if you want to close out the franchise. And now that's all I gotta say for Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2.